What? This is absolutely insane. <gasps> I mean, the other one. Yeah, this is the one that's you just starting to write. You could have. When they're not like. Oh my gosh. Like, you ride along with it. Yeah. So the scales, you gotta, I think, oh, nope, the scales are falling off. They're oh, yeah, ready to go. Ready. You can eat. So when they ripen, they ripen from top, top to bottom. bottom. So the whole fruit might not be ready, but like. Yeah, yeah, you just gotta be careful. It's hot, like, this one will definitely Oh, be wow. This is incredible. I gotta put this over here. Um, Monstera fruit is starting to ripen up now. This is incredible. I mean, in a greenhouse too, it's absolutely amazing. So I guess we'll try it out. Uh, I mean, so this is what the Monstera fruit looks like. As you can see, this is the actual fruit itself. Um, the scales are on the outside and you normally you would use a spoon to do this, but there it is. That's the fruit. Um, I think this is how you eat it, right? You just taste it. Wow. Okay, it is true. They do taste like a mix of fruits. Like a lot of different types of fruits. Um, normally you're supposed to use a spoon after you after the scales peel off, but because there's the fruit there, and you just kind of dig into it and eat it. So the flesh itself is really small, and there's not much of it, but it's just and I gotta wait for it to peel itself because if you don't, you, you'll literally get really sick. But yeah, look at that. That is ripe. There's actually, um, the seeds are in there as well. And they slide out like that. Nothing like I've ever tasted before. It's very different, but very tasty too. So I, I just can't believe it. Like I was here a, few, a month ago and these were all unripe, but right as I come, they're all starting to ripen up. Well, this is the only, well, not all, but yeah, you just gotta make sure, okay, so, I want to be careful, but if they just flake off like that, they're ready to go, um, and they can eat it. Like that. So the scales just peel off, and you can see there's the actual fruit, which looks amazing. Also, here's another, there's some more over here, which look even better. Well, these might be slightly overripe, not really yellow, but amazing probably still. These are not as yellow, but the scales are peeling off, so you just scoop it out. Uh, try not to get the scales, I just made a mess. Hmm. Surprisingly for what it is, it's very sweet. It's almost like a pineapple-ish flavor with their flavor with it, but yeah, that's what monster food looks like. For fruiting in an indoor setting, it's kind of rare, but if you ever wondered what it's like, that's what it's like. It's very rare to get a hold of these things unless you're growing in the tropics or something. That's honestly probably better to taste, but again, it's amazing. I might even just try to taste some of this right now. I slightly fermented actually, don't eat that. But this is this is good. So you know some guys, I actually can't believe I actually had to try this today. I would definitely recommend if you can be able to uh, obtain it in tropics or in a very good greenhouse setting. See you next one, guys.